these days we should understand that male factor infertility is on the rise earlier when i started my practice 30% was the male factor infertility meaning if 100 people are taking treatment 30 people would have male factors but now i would say that the incidence has risen and it's about 50% now i'm dr archana is ayanadan a medical director and ivf specialist from dr archana ivf chennai so male factor infertility is on rise these days today what we are going to talk about is oligozoospermia so what is oligozoospermia what do we actually encounter in such patients is that when a sample is checked the first time we do find that the count is very less you know we will have something like 1 million 2 million or 3 million something lesser than 1 million also sometimes we term this as oligozoospermia so what we actually do at the first sitting is we actually repeat this investigation a week later with some good uh, antioxidants uh, given to them we repeat it and we ask them to have an abstinence day of 3 days after which we repeat this investigation on the second sample also if we found out that it's the same it's oligozoospermia again then what is the solution every patient who comes to us like this is expecting one thing from us i know that you've had the clue about it it's nothing but medications what they actually ask us is can you give us some antioxidants and some kind of wonder drug which can really improve the number so is there any medication like that if you ask me i would say that there are no such medications available which can improve your count from 1 million to 15 million that's really not going to happen at all if you have to improve your count by taking medications like um, anti oxidants or some kind of hormonal tablets and injections this 1 million count can become 2 or 3 million after taking these medications continuously for a period of a year at least so at the end of the day the amount of money you had spent taking these antioxidants taking these injectable medications after all this you achieve a sperm count of from 1 million to 2 million that's really not taking you anywhere because at the end of the day when the count is less than 5 million we do advise only advanced treatment for such people and even in advanced treatment it is ICSI much more advanced fertility treatment where the sperm is directly injected into the egg when you have this kind of a report in your hand after the second evaluation what you do actually what you do next is examination examination of the test is to find out if there is testicular problem which is creating this uh, issue for the concerned male so when you find out the test is also normal then the next goes to the systemic problems like whether the person is a diabetic whether the person is uh, having hypertension whether uh, the person has had any chronic illness like tuberculosis or any kind of viral infections predominantly what the question we ask everyone mums right these kind of viral infections or did he get hurt anywhere uh, near the testicular region when he was a child these kind of questions need to be put forward in the history and find out whether that could be the cause why he is having a oligozoospermic uh, sample so after trying to find out if it is testicular you have come to a conclusion that it's normal then you have tried to find out if there are any systemic problem the next step is you need to answer the question whether you are a smoker or a alcoholic these two habits will definitely create a problem in your semen analysis and in your sperm count so if you quit these habits then there is again a chance of an improvement in the sperm count but understand when the damage is already done whatever uh, amount of antioxidants you are taking or uh, whatever you are going to try and do to develop it it is not going to improve to 15 million where you can try natural treatments so such uh, treatments like medications lifestyle changes and abolishing these environmental factors is not really going to help you achieve a normal natural pregnancy at the end of the day when your count is telling us that it's less than 5 million or less than 1 million when it is termed as oligozoospermia understand a period of 10 to 15 days of antioxidant is enough and whenever you're ready going for ivf is a suitable option for you not only ivf icsi is a suitable option for you that will definitely help you achieve uh, a pregnancy with your own sperms there is no necessity of going for donor sperm when your count is less than 1 million remember there is this absolutely beautiful amazing technology which is available that's called icsi we say ivf but we end up 
doing ICSI for a lot of patients. It's a wonderful technology. It does not affect you or your child in any way. Such conditions can be treated and you can father your own child. So such developments have happened so that you can have your own child at the end of the day. So if you have any more doubts regarding male factor uh, contribution of infertility, please leave it in the comments and I'm leaving my uh, WhatsApp number here. If you do have, contact us. We will try to uh, fix up an online consultation with you also.